Hello my fellow Kenyans, Gakonga, the coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. Leo, nataka kuanalyze something. Who will Vision Total Football Kenya support as the next FKF president? Will it be Nick Mwendwa? Will it be Sam Nyamwea, who we know he has uh, shown interest? Will it be Akaranga, the former Vihiga governor, who also want to vie for the FKF president seat? Will it be Amukoa, yeah? the former Western branch uh, manager, FKF branch manager? Now, our position as Vision Total Football Kenya remains the same. We want to be neutral when it comes to Kenyan football. We want to be neutral when it comes to the next FK election. So Vision Total Football Kenya will support no one. Because the issue here, the objective is to reform Kenyan football, to restructure Kenyan football, to streamline Kenyan football. That is the main objective of Vision Total Football Kenya. And that where that is where our stand will remain. Therefore, I want to say something I, I said a few weeks ago that it does not matter who will be elected as the FKF president. The problems in our Kenyan football system will continue, yeah, no matter who is elected. And that is the truth of the matter. So, uh, Sam Nyamwea was there before. Peter Kenneth was there before. Nick Mwendwa is there now and he wants to be re-elected again so he can have his set of eight years. My fellow Kenyans, I keep saying, and I will continue to say that, uh, the problem within Kenyan football uh, cannot be down, narrowed down to individuals. Yeah, They must be narrowed down to the system. Yes, individuals who have been former presidents, and even including Nick Mwendwa now, they could have been more ambitious. Nick Mwendwa could be more ambitious. But that is not the bulk of the matter. The bulk of the matter is that the system is what is not, does not inspire Kenyan football. The system does not allow innovation. The system does not allow us to, uh, does not allow many people to participate in the Kenyan football. And I keep saying, when will a Trokana boy or girl dream of playing quality Kenyan football? When will a Kajiado girl or boy dream of playing a better football in Kenya? When will Marsabi, Bormet, um, in fact, I want to say something about Baringo County. I saw the other day the people of Baringo complaining about their football, saying there is no football in Baringo. There is no uh, good quality football in Baringo. There is no places to play in Baringo. And they were, and they were asking Gideon Moy to help them because he's the senator of Baringo. But Gideon Moy will do nothing when it comes to football in Baringo. Gideon Moy is a senator. Yeah? And... There are 47 senators, yeah, elected senators, and they are facing the same problem back at their own county. Because the problem, like I keep saying, it is the system. Governors are facing the same problem when it comes to football at the grassroots. It is the, it is the system. Kenya Premier League is facing problem. It is the system. Uh, the National Super League is facing a problem. It is the system. FKF as a football governing body is facing so many problems. It is the system. So my, my, so, so my issue is the same. It is the football system that we need to sort out in Kenya. Because the whole system is wrongly designed. Yeah? The whole system is making our football not go anywhere. That's why you see it doesn't matter which president will be elected. It will remain the same. There might be a little bit of progress here, there and there, but that is not enough. Yeah, The entire system must be changed from the governance uh, of FKF all the way to the grassroots. Yeah, This must change so that it can allow a, a better football system in Kenya. So we cannot narrow the, the 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 problems of Kenyan football to individuals. And I keep saying this, but no matter how I say this, 
People within FKF still keep coming up and sending messages trying to fight the vision. Fighting the vision is not going to help FKF. Fighting the vision is not going to help any individual in Kenya. As Vision Total Football Kenya, I said before, we started this journey seven years ago. Sam Nyamwea was the president then. Nick Mwendo has just come along the way. And he will go and he will leave Vision Total Football Kenya still championing the same thing. But... When Vision Total Football Kenya is ready, my fellow Kenyans, I said before, the vision is ready. There are a few issues here and there to be ironed out. Those are the only issues that we are dealing with now behind the scene. So those who want to get scared, wanaotaka kuhara, nishauli yao. Vision Total Football Kenya is still on course. What I'm saying is that supporting Vision Total Football Kenya will help individuals in Kenya who are in in the football system please this vision is about Kenyans it is not about me it is not about FKF president it is not about Uhuru it is not about Ruto it is about Kenya Kenyan football required a proper leadership Kenyan football required yeah and even now it require but i'm talking uh, from when i began the vision it is because what i saw lack of vision lack of leadership lack of focus lack of progress that is what inspired me to start this vision for our country kenya and the and the state of football in kenya remains the same yeah so the whole system will change entire system, Kenyan football system will change and therefore this is why I'm saying it doesn't matter which candidate will be elected and the, I'm not supporting any candidate it will make no sense for me to support anyone what I'm supporting is the system the change of the system in Kenya football system will change and I am sure FIFA will support I am sure CAF will support because anything that can better Kenyan football system it will get support from the right people the only people who who will be opposing the vision is the one who think that once the vision is implemented, their chance for eating will go. Their chance for being corrupt will go. Their chance for, for bringing in those who they know, friends and families will go. Because the vision will not allow that. It is not about me. The, fi the vision puts a blueprint proper so that any president who will be elected will actually have an easy job. They yeah, are sorting the issues of football in Kenya. So Vision Total Football Kenya is about that. My dear Kenyans, would we not want to have a, a football that, con that brings so, money, so much money in the country? Why every little boy in the village know about English Premier League, knows about Arsenal, Man City, and even other very small clubs in, in this country, in England, where I see Kenyan people betting yeah, for small clubs in this country? Why? Because the management is good. The system is good. Everyone who is there is there because, of, because they love football, because they are passionate about football. The system can enable corruption. The system can eliminate corruption. The system can be inclusive. The system can exclude people. So it is once again about the system. So who is, who is speaking for a boy in Bomet who want to play football? Who is speaking for a boy in Garissa or girl who want to play football? No one. And nothing is happening in those counties. So if we are not careful, we'll end up with a situation where we have some counties like Nairobi, where football is being played here and there. And some counties in the same country that have no hope to ever play football. Okay? That's bad enough. But my point today, I wanted to clarify that uh, Vision Total Football Kenya will support no one in the coming FKF election. Those elections will come next year in uh, February. They will come and go. So whoever will be the president when we are ready to uh, when uh, when we are ready to sort the system, will the the uh, the Vision Total Football Kenya will find him or her there as the president. And what will happen from there? Vision Total Football Kenya will give way forward. I keep saying there is no answer, there is no way out except Vision Total Football Kenya for football in Kenya. Our football in Kenya require Vision Total Football Kenya. Yeah, it, it was required years ago. It was required when Nick Mwendwa came in, when um, uh, Peter Kenneth was there, when Sam Nyamwea uh, was there. And it is required now more than ever. And it will be required in the future more than ever. 
this is why I had to come in because I saw no one else who can come with a better proper vision that will sort our issues in Kenya. So that is where I started seven years ago. So Vision Total Football Kenya, we remain to believe it is the only answer for our Kenyan football. Because we have a lot of talents. We have a lot of uh, people in Kenya who love football. That's why they watch English Premier League. Because our football has died. Our football is tasteless. Our football style is dead. There is no money. There is nothing that is progressing in Kenyan football. If you believe otherwise, please convince me. Me, I know that there is nothing good that is happening in Kenyan football. Yeah? Because our football need to grow quicker, develop quicker. We need to stop to stop remaining in this circle, zero grazing, when it comes to our football. And here, I want to say to you this, please, never ever confuse yeah, movement and progress. We can move around forever without achieving progress. What we want is a line that will give us progress, not moving around, zero grazing. That is called moving in circle. There is no progress there. We want a straightforward line that we can walk through and make progress. That is where Vision Total Football Kenya will take us. My fellow Kenyans, thanks for sharing uh, Vision Total Football Kenya um, with me. Thank you for supporting Vision Total Football Kenya. Continue to like, comment, and share with friend, friends, I mean, and families. I live in peace. I'm gone.